what exactly is Apple doing now and what does it mean for iPhone users? Oh, that's right, Emily. So for most of the 2000s, right, Apple had what was called the 30-pin iPod connector. That worked on all their main iPods, and it was also the connector that was on the iPhone until the iPhone 5. In 2012 with the 5, Apple moved to Lightning. It's much smaller, it's reversible, it's all digital. It made sense as things were shifting more wirelessly. Right? But now we're getting to the point where USB-C is taking over the tech industry. And now the European Union is pushing USB-C because it's interoperable between Android devices, from Samsung, from Google, as well as Apple devices. Right now the iPhone still uses Lightning. That means you can't use the same charger to charge your iPhone as you can even with your iPad Pro or your MacBook Pro or your Android device. So because of some prodding from the European Union and because it just makes sense for consumers and its ecosystem, Apple will move to USB-C next year in 2023 with the iPhone 15. They'll also move it to some of their Mac accessories that still use Lightning, some of their iPhone accessories like the MagSafe battery that use Lightning, and probably most critically the AirPods, which also still use Lightning. So overall, it's a very good move uh, for consumers, I think. What does it mean, though, given that Apple really wants us ultimately to not have to use any wires at all? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So 2017, about five years ago, Apple announced a device called the AirPower. What that was was a three-device charging mat from the company. It was announced in 2017, was supposed to go on sale in 2018, and it would allow you to inductively charge an iPhone, AirPods, and the Apple Watch at the same time. Many technical issues I won't belabor right now, that never launched. But Apple still wants to push users towards wireless charging. The latest MacBooks, they all use MagSafe charging. Right? You don't stick an actual cable into the device, but it uses somewhat of a magnetic inductive charger called MagSafe. The iPhone has MagSafe charging, the Apple Watch has MagSafe charging, the AirPods have MagSafe charging. So while the Lightning connector and the iPod 30 pin connector before that both lasted about 10, 11 years for their respective ecosystems, I think USB-C is going to be the Apple connector for the next five years, and then we'll see a much bigger push to inductive charging, MagSafe, and wireless interoperability.